Good morning, good morning, wherever you are. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okank, and I believe that you are doing well. We thank God for our life, and it's a blessing to join me here on Facebook Live. And it is another year, 2022, since last year, January, um, December, to this year, I've not been on Facebook Live. And 2022, today is the first day you can see the flyers on my Facebook page. Hallelujah. So I want you to like and share, invite friends, tell your friend to tell another friend to join and to enjoy the word of God. Amen. So I want you to bow down your heads and let's pray. Most gracious Father, we thank you, we bless your name. We worship you indeed, we say you are God. Father, for we have come to share your word today. Let your word be a blessing in the life of your children. Father, bless them with your word. And Father, Lord God, deliver them from any plans of the enemy. As a word cometh, Father, Lord God, let there be a transformation. Let there be healing. And let there be deliverance. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please, I want you to like and share, invite friends. And I greet all viewers that are watching me. In 2022, today is the first day in 2022 to start with the word of truth. Time with the word of truth. Once again, my name is Apostle Emmanuel Okank from Ghana. Um, the mind of the Lord Ministries and Crown Kings uh, Ministries. So I want you to bring your heart, your mind here and listen to the word of God. And God bless you, Leslie, God bless you, and Rita, God bless you, anyone that is watching me and those that will watch later. Amen. Without not wasting my time, to, today as a first day, we are going to look a verse in the Bible in John in, in, in John and that is John chapter 1 verse 16 and we are going to look at um, how we have received uh, I mean is 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 for fullness I mean from grace upon grace or grace to grace God bless you God bless you we shall learn Phillips from Jamaica God bless you okay so let's turn our Bible to John chapter 1, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, verse 16, John chapter 1, verse 16. I believe you can hear my voice. You can hear me. If you can hear me, just give me a hand wave. If you can hear me, just give me a hand wave. If you can hear me, just give me a hand wave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. First time watching from Jamaica. God bless you, um, um, prophetess. Uh, just give me a one. Yes, clearly. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's turn our Bible to John chapter 1. Verse 16. I'm reading from the English Standard Version. ESV. Amen. The Bible says that for from his fulfillment we have received grace upon grace. For from his fullness we have received grace upon grace. That is the English Standard Version. Let's look at the Amplified version what did the amplifier said the amplifier says that for out of his fulfillment that is abundance do you understand we have all received what we received all had a share and we and we were all supplied with one grace after another and spiritual blessing 
upon spiritual blessing and even favor upon favor and gift he beat i mean a uh, uh, he upon gift so when the bible talks when john the writer talks about we have received his fulfillment upon grace upon grace these words these words tell us that there is a fulfillment in Christ when we read the amplified version the fulfillment it is abundance hallelujah so there is an abundance there is a fulfillment of insatiable deity hallelujah for into bracket bracket open that is in him in him dwelleth all the fulfillment of godhead in him dwelleth all the fulfillment of what godhead the godhead that is god the father the son and what the holy spirit so there is a fulfillment of perfect manhood there's a fulfillment what perfect man what hood so for in him for in, for in him for in his body that is the bodily and the godhead was revealed do you understand so there is a fulfillment there is a fulfillment of of antoning there is a fulfillment of antoning efficacy in his blood because if you remember the bible says that in, in john chapter in john chapter 1 verse 14 the bible says that and the word became flesh the word became flesh and dwelleth among us and we have seen his glory glory as the only son as what the only son from the father and full of grace and truth that means that the word became flesh the word that is christ he became flesh you see i mean there was incarnation you see as a human he came he left his his, his heavenly throne and came on earth for us to receive a spiritual blessings and there is a reason why that he came on earth that is what is it for, for the forfordness of the antony what efficacy hallelujah in his blood he has to be sacrificed you see so for the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from all sin hallelujah so there is a fullness there is an abundance of justifying righteousness in this life praise the lord this is a word of truth i always come on facebook live as we start today 2 30 p.m in ghana time i don't know wherever you are if you are in america that is a gym gmt that'll be minus five or minus six or minus seven so you can just monitor me from um tuesday wednesday thursday and friday is prophetic every friday is prophetic do you understand so please kindly like and share as well share it and invite friends to also watch hallelujah share it and invite friends to watch hallelujah amen so as the bible says in john chapter 1 verse 16 it says that and is for fullness of all have all we received he talks about the fullness of antony efficacy in his word blood for the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleansed us from all sins. 
There is a fulfillment of justifying righteousness. Hallelujah. In his life. Do you understand? Amen. And for there is fulfillment, that fulfillment that we have received, that as the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, says that there is therefore now no condemnation, no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. So if you are in Christ Jesus, one of his fulfillments that you have received is that you will not be condemned. Hallelujah. And I believe that you will not be condemned in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's no good to be a condemnation. There's no good to be an ac accusation. There's no good to be anything that will bring you down. Anything that will drown you. Anything that will astray you from the love of God and from the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, there is a fulfillment of divine prevalence. You see, when I talk of divine prevalence in his plea, in his plea, he plead on our behalf. He become a mediator. He become what? A mediator. For he is able to save to the outermost them that came unto God by him. Do you understand? Is able to save to the uttermost them that came unto God by him. No wonder the Bible says, he said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father or comes to the Father except through me, except through him. He says that I am the true vine. He also says that I am the bread of life. He also said, I am the door. So, through Jesus Christ, eh, he plead for you to connect yourself, to reconnect yourself to God. Because right in the Garden of Eden, the bridge between humanity and the deity that is God was broken by the influence by Satan and by the acceptance of the doctrines of Satan by Eve, Adam and Eve. So right now, Jesus Christ came in his fullness. We have to receive his fullness so that that bridge will be what? Amen. No wonder that is why it was put on the cross. The cross was a bridge. For us to connect to God. Praise the Lord. So, as I said, that he is able to save the uttermost, then that what come unto God by him. Hallelujah. Seeing he ever lives to make intercession for us. Praise the Lord. So I am explaining John chapter 1 verse 16 to you. Please kindly like this video and share it. Invite friends to watch and to join us every day from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday is only what? Prophetic. Kindly share. Kindly share. Kindly share. Kindly share. And I believe that as you share, God also will bring testimony in your life. God also will bring breakthrough in your life. God will bless you. For whatever that you need, He will give it to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, as I continue, you need to understand that the fulfillment or His fulfillment it's a fulfillment of victory. It's a what? A fulfillment of what? Victory in his death. In his death. For true death, the, for, true, for true death, he destroyed him that had the power of death. Hallelujah. There is a fulfillment of victory in his death. For true death, 
He destroyed him that had the power of death. That is the devil. That is the devil. So Jesus Christ came on this earth for you to for you to be free from the power of death by destroying what? The devil. So if you read the Bible in first John chapter three verse eight, the Bible says the Bible says that whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. The devil has been sinning from the beginning. You understand? Now this thing, though, the Bible says somebody said, for this purpose, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. What a father we have. What a good God we have. They say thank you, Jesus Christ. You see? Say, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. So the fulfillment that we have received from Jesus Christ is to destroy the works of the devil. And that is the reason why we are still alive. Praise the Lord. Praise. That's why what? We are still alive. So it destroyed the one who had the power of death. That is the devil. Hallelujah. Once again, my name is Apostle Emmanuel Okain. And kindly like this video and share it. If you want to send any donation, any support to support the ministry, you can contact me on my WhatsApp messenger. Plus two three three two zero two eight one zero zero three or my Facebook Messenger. God bless. You. Now let's con continue. There is a fulfillment of efficacy. There is a fulfillment of what efficacy in his resurrection, in his what resurrection from the dead, from the dead. For by it. We are begotten again, for by it we are begotten again unto a life what hope or a lively what hope. We are begotten again means that we have been taken out from death. Because the Bible said the wages of sin is death. And through Jesus Christ, we have life. So, through Jesus Christ, we are begotten again. We have been adopted again. We have been born again to have life, to live in hope and peace and joy. Praise the Lord. And there is a fulfillment of triumph. The fulfillment of triumph in its ascension. In his ascension, ascending to heaven, there is a fulfillment in it. For when he ascended upon on high, for when he was ascended upon on high, he led captivity captive. You see, he led captivity what captive, and received gift for men. Received gift. For men, we were in captive. But when he ascended, when he was on the throne, when he was going, we received gifts. He, he made us receive gifts for men. That is the Holy Ghost. That is a gift that we can use to do anything in our life, in our Christian journey, in our Christian life. My brother, my sister, if you have received a gift from God or from Jesus Christ because of his ascension, because when he, he has not go, we cannot receive. No wonder he said to the disciples that it is for your advantage that I must go so that the comforter shall come. And he will, he will teach you the things that I have taught you. And he will convince 